Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. We're working on Grace's quilt, her tiny little scrappy quilt. Check this out. Can you see in the small camera? Hopefully Pop, Pop will uh, sign it up right first thing so you can see all this beautiful. And look at these tiny little borders. Tiny little tiny. Look how tiny. That's my nail. Like that's like an inch and a half. Like seriously. Beautiful, all the way around. It's 109 by 90-ish. I think that's what we, I don't know. Anyways, it is, it's big. Uh, she let me have the choice of backing and how I quilted it up. So we're almost finished. We got three rows to go out of 12 rows, I think. Yeah, I think it was 12 rows. Uh, and they were, they seem to be about maybe a nine and a half inch square. And look, look at this, isn't it beautiful? Just love it. And uh, hold on, there's one, two, I think there was eight long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. So nine by 12 gives you what, 96 blocks? Yeah, nine times 12? I don't know, something like that. Anyways, um, math is good. <laughs> so I've designed uh, a little pattern the way I like it. I've chose two different blocks to fill in her two different types of squares to uh, just kind of complement it and tie it all together. I feel like I've got a loose thread hanging off me here. Um, and hopefully she likes it. So I've chosen a nice little uh, 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 feathers for the borders, but I was just doing the blocks. I'll do the end here with the feathers, then take it off, flip, turn it, place it out again, do the feathers across the top, feathers across the bottom, and then we're all good to go. So what I have set up here, I've already clicked out. I've clicked out via my machine head, the um, drawing boundary of where I need to place my block. So I click it out, make sure, because there's a little couple of, you know, little curves here and there to the piecing. Uh, I want to make sure I stay within those lines. I don't, it, not everything's square. Nothing ever is really just square. So you have to kind of play with the game and play with the pattern. Clearly Clive wants his time. So what I chose here is the two patterns uh, of what I like. And then this one is going in this one right here. This pattern that I've just highlighted right there is going to go right in the square. And then the other one goes in this one. The reason why I chose this one to be in that square, because it had that little flourish and it, to me it would stand out better. And um, I don't know, just complement the whole quilt. So I need to just smoosh it just a little bit. And this is where the software really helps you tweak it or pull it or whatever you need to do to get it to fit that spot. Okay. Oops. Nope, not combine. Long button, I'm sorry. I wanted to cycle through the handles. Okay, see this gray one here? I can pull just that one section and bring it right where I need to be. And that one, because it's got, like I say, got a little bit of a curve to the quilt. You can help it with the software. Fill in all those little spots that you need it to be. And then it's going to stitch out beautifully. Okay, so I'm going to go to all. So I need that pattern to go in every other spot. Of course, they're not always going to be the same, so I'll probably have to, you know, tweak it. So what I'll do, I should have went, is when I copied it, taken the first original one and then tweaked each one. But we'll take this one, we'll copy it. We're going to say, okay, we want to keep that copy. I'm going to click left here and paste. And I'm just going to paste in those squares real quick. And then I'm going to come back and tweak. Okay, and then this one, and it's, this is the way the pattern set out to repeat itself, but I don't want it that way. I want it this way. So I can take those little two arrows that go back and forth and swing that pattern like we were doing a do -si do Just put it any way I like. Okay, I could even tweak it this way, tweak it that way, put one in a little corner a little bit. I'm going to try and make it so it's nice and flat, so it fits within those spots that I need it to. Okay. A little bit smaller. Okay. And this one I was just kind of pulling just towards my line because I was clicking on the inside of her stitch lines, of her seams, right? I was clicking on the inside of them. These right in here, like that seam right there for here and in here to here, just making sure I wasn't going to hit those stitch lines at all with my pattern. Okay. And then you're just going to fill it in all like that. So you take this one and copy it over into those buddies. So, all right, let's take this one and let's zoom in just a smidge. We'll have it stitch out just these guys. Okay, actually that one kind of fits really well in there. So I think we'll just move it just a little bit over. Pull this little leg over. Pull that little leg, Ooh, just right to the tip there. Position this one just a little bit better. Okay. 
There we go. I like that. This one. Okay, I want to make sure. Hold on, not this hand. There we go, that handle. Tweak it up just a smidge because I don't want that corner coming too close. All right, go to the all button to get that last one, and then we are good to go to stitch up. Okay. See how this is way out of the frame there? Hold on, let's back it up a bit so I can get in above it and be able to tweak that one side. Okay, see I'm gonna take that gray one. That gray one allows me to move over just that one little section. Just that one tiny little section. If I were to use the orange one, it's gonna enlarge everything. If I use the purple one, it's just gonna enlarge that one side, tweak it to the way I like it. Okay, so that one little point there looks good to me. Awesome. There we go. So we go to all so we know what it looks like and start quilting. Oh, it's going to do that one first. All right. We get to see at least one of each. Hit the OK button. Hold your threads. Wait for it to start and come in and click. It does a locking stitch. It does a four stitch locking stitch when it starts and a four stitch locking stip, stitch when it starts, it stops. So if I go and do one or two, it doesn't really matter. It's already locked in. So you really have to worry about it is when you're doing the stitching that you're doing the locking before and after because Walt's already doing it for me. He's already programmed for that. There was so much squares in this quilt. It really needed to add some softness and movement. And then when I chose this very beautiful, beautiful minty green flannelette backing to keep her nice and warm this winter, um, I just thought it would make a nice little whole cloth on the other side. So if she, she decides to flip it, she can have the green side out and it'd be a beautiful like whole cloth quilt for her. Two patterns in one. <laughs> All right, so you saw that it was doing the locking stitch there, so I don't really have to. Okay, clip, hit the OK button. It's probably gonna go to that one, yeah, and then it'll progress on the other ones. This is actually one of my favorite stitch outs. I like how it looks. Okay, just come up and clip. It's better to get rid of those threads so they don't get caught up under the machine. And if we were to get caught up under the head or the neck or anything like this, Mm, you're ripping and it's tearing and it's then all of a sudden you're it's hooked it's locked it's on it's off its belts it's a mess that's a real mess what did I do with that little thing oh it's over there so I did notice and I have noticed with a lot that have some white a lot of white or um, tans creams those sorts of colors uh, that some of the more vibrant threads that are being used here sometimes kind of get locked underneath so if you happen to spot it this is a great little tool here i'll put it right there so you can kind of hopefully you can see it it's like the tiniest little crochet hook you're ever going to see it also has an end where i could thread it through something if i needed to right i can line it through but anyways this actually helps if you haven't gone down the base stitching of the bottom yet is to be able to come in pull that thread out or maneuver it over so you don't see it in any of these tan spots that would take away from the whole quilt really all of a sudden you see this like you know big green thread in the middle of something you'd be like eh, can't get it out <laughs> but you can if you see it before you end up stitching all the way over sometimes you can't sometimes you can't i've seen people actually go through seams with these little things to go in and kind of poke in around and get that thread out but if you can prevent it that's probably the better idea so I, I brushed over the back of her quilt with a uh, very sticky lint brush and it picked up a lot, but there was still a little bit here and there. So, all right, we'll hit okay. Isn't that pretty? It's one of my favorites. Yeah, we'll do it again. So I just have three more, well, two and a bit, two and a bit more rows to stitch up of this little pattern thing pattern that we got going on for Grace. I like it when you kind of give me free reign. She did such a beautiful job on this quilt too. I love all the pieces. I've had many little oohs and ahs from people coming in and out of the quilt shop about this one. Uh, you know, cause it was, it was hung up at first and then I was, had it pressed and laying out and yeah, it's, it's very much loved. A lot of people love scrappy quilts. They really do. It's, I think it's all the color and the difference and you can't, when you're looking at it, you're not just picking out one specific color 
you see it all. You know what I mean? Or all of a sudden, oh, that pink shines up, or like this really bright pink here, or this little green with the flowers. You know, it's or the you know turquoise with the little polka dots. There we go. And this one up here, like it looks like. I don't even look like a tennis racket or something. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's like an eye spy quilt, too. <laughs> that takes a lot of dedication to sit there and cut up all your scraps to, what, inch and a half pieces. Because they look like an inch. There's the ruler. While wow, Walt is being Walt. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so an inch and a half would be an inch and a half because these are exactly an inch. Bang on. Yep. Beautiful. I just started a two and a half inch scrappy quilt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it seems so huge compared to this one. It really does. I do something while I was at the library for demo nights. <laughs> So I didn't want to bring anything that I was going to miss if I left it behind or something or whatever or, you know, whatever, right? So I grabbed all my, my chocolate box of my two and a half inch squares and took those for a couple of past Monday nights. There we go. Let me make a little thread pile. Fill the jar. Oh, you want your time, do ya? Mm, no, I'm not picking you up. Nope. Because it's warm in here and you're warm too. <laughs> so that's pretty much Long Arm Wednesday. I'm just going to plug away and hopefully make Grace a very happy lady. <laughs> Apparently he didn't get enough loving. Wow, what? No. It's like, I will jump up there. <laughs> no, you won't. No. So I'll let this stitch out. And hopefully you can see a little bit of the back on the green here. That's the seam line to put the two pieces together, but you can really see how the pattern really shows itself off here. It's quite lovely. It's quite lovely. I think those two patterns work really well together. I had something, uh, one other block picked out, um, but then I go, you know, confer with Pop to make sure, you know, kind of, yeah, I'm iffy on this one. What do you think about it? He goes, yeah, I think it's too busy. I'm like, you're right. It's It's got enough going on right here. I don't want to take away from it. I just want to compliment it, right? So there we go. And I've got, what is it, 9... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 23 more blocks to go. And then it's all done out of 96. I think that's the math is right. So, <laughs> All right, so check out the, uh, the, the Facebook page for the end picture. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, she loves it. So anyways, have a fantastic Wednesday. And we'll see you on Weekend Project. We're doing another, obviously, part to our Christmas quilt. And then, of course, our continuing our live stream about the Christmas tree skirt that you could possibly win if you so choose to follow along on the live stream for Sunday. So check us out at 3 p.m. on Sundays, every every Sunday. We're doing a live stream, having some fun, and more than welcome for you to have and join us, okay? So take care, enjoy your Wednesday, have fun, bye-bye.